Happy Friday. I'm Krista Kirkjian in the First Alert Weather Center. We did have that stubborn marine layer that lingered on into those afternoon hours today. Take a look at this time lapse from our Santa Barbara Harbor camera. As you can see, the sun did peak out for a really short amount of time before those clouds came right back, which is why temperatures were really nice and mild along the coast. Tomorrow morning, the south coast and the central coast are expected to wake up with those clouds and that marine layer. It's going to dissipate rather quickly for the south coast, but linger much longer for the central coast, causing some visibility issues. Only a tenth of a mile of visibility in Morrow Bay tomorrow afternoon. This marine layer is going to really help keep temperatures mild and comfortable and a little more fall like. However, if you are in Paso or any of our inland communities, it's going to feel a lot like summer because they're going to see 90s for at least one more day. So it'd be a great idea to cool down with some lemonade, some ice cream, anything to kind of help you seek some relief from that heat because plenty of sunshine is expected inland. Here's a look at some of your current high temperatures for tomorrow. 75 in both Santa Barbara and Montecito, 71 in Summerland as we make our way up to Santa Maria. As you can see, high temperature of 76 there, 81 in Los Alamos, 86 in Santianez, nice and toasty there as we make our way up to Paso, 94 as your high temperature there. It's going to be nice and cool along the coast because of that marine layer. 70, 67 as your high temperature in Morro Bay and Cambria. Ventura County, 90 in Ojai, 73 in the city of Ventura. So relief from that heat is on the way early next week. Have a great weekend.